wearing fucking argyle pants and a mohawk. Who the fuck has a mohawk anymore? That dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, set mic. I play no effects. In the very beginning, no effects was not good. When my ex-wife and I, Aaron, first started Fat Records. We had no idea what the fuck we were doing, like none. It was me and her in an apartment, in a fax machine, in a closet. I went to school for creative writing. Mike majored in philosophy. Like, we don't, I don't know how to fucking run a record label. It just so happened the first four or five bands I signed were really good. And everybody sold a lot of records. Oh, Fat Mike started a label, Fat Records. How ingenious. It's the only record label that's ever paid me. And that's awesome. It was just like the most ramped up partying ever, but it probably took like 30 years off of my life. Yeah, Propagandi talked shit about me in a song. I don't know, sometimes you don't think too much about something, you know? You're just jamming, making the song. I'm lucky to have these bands on my label. It's kind of silly to say, but like I learned shit from reading good riddance lyrics. You just can't even, like, I got goose, look at goosebumps. I'm not kidding, there's goosebumps. Fat Records is, is more than just a label that's putting out records. It's an ethics. You know, when, when someone says it's not personal, it's business, fuck you. It's a lifestyle. You know, when I sign a new band, we end up hanging out a lot and drinking a lot and doing a lot of drugs together. It's a family. It's about chosen families. This is our family. Fat Records needs us. Like fucking moms and dads and brothers and sisters. Maybe it was like a family, but to me it appeared more like a mafia. <laughs> and the most rocking and the most fun, played by the coolest people. You know, it's not like one thing that you could just say like, that's Fat Records Legacy, but if there was, you know, I don't know what it would be, you know.